With the 2020 presidential election less than nine months away, both the Republican and Democratic candidates are preparing for one of the most important elections in recent memory. Late this afternoon, our Dan Booth talked with both the Republican and Democratic Taylor County Party leaders to find out how they're getting ready for November. He loves America and is standing up for America first. President Trump is like no other president we've ever seen, and the chair of the Taylor County Republican Party couldn't be more excited for his possible re-election. It is so nice to have a president actually doing what he said. While Taylor County is filled with Republicans, the Democratic Party and their newly elected chair are hoping they can use their platform to give people a voice. The strength of the Democratic party is that we are a platform for a variety of ideas and we encourage you know lively and robust discussion and certainly that is happening right here um, in, in Taylor County. President Trump has been a polarizing figure for many and some Republicans think the Democrats way of fighting Trump is all wrong. The Democrats, because if you listen to them, all they're about is who can beat Trump. It's not who can, who can do a better job of America, it's beat Trump. The race for the Democratic nomination is down to Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. There's a fear amongst Democrats nationwide that the fight between Biden and Sanders could further divide the party. But Smyer thinks they'll come together when it matters most. At the end of the day, you know, we are friends and we are neighbors and we will support each other, you know, to the best of our ability. And, you know, the things that we have in common will be our strengths, you know, our differences will will inform us. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Dan Booth. All right, thank you, Dan. The Taylor County Democratic Party will be hosting a county convention on March 21st to discuss the state of the Democratic Party here in the key city.